Did you see a dog out there? I don't know, really. The blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. I guess I'll stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. I heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King. With his voice. Shouted him apart. Hail, companion. My favorite drinking buddy. Let's get some mead. Mm -hmm. I always thought the new Harbinger would be taller myself. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. I'll show you what I can about protecting yourself. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Oh, so you're the one in charge now. Fine. I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. I've defended the Sepulcher alone for what seems like an eternity. We were betrayed by one of our own kind. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate and stolen the Skeleton King. I haven't heard that name in a long time. How do you know of me? Skeleton key! I never thought I'd see it again. And Mercer Frey? Then, it's over, and my death wasn't in vain. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale.
That's quite a noble sentiment for someone in our, well, in your line of work. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Carlyle? She's still alive? I feared she'd befallen the same fate, ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. Nothing would bring me more pride than to return the key, but I'm afraid it's impossible. From the moment I arrived here, I felt myself, well, dying. The sepulchre isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. Within these walls is the Ebon Bear, a conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed, severely limiting our ties to her. I'm afraid so. I'm weakening, and I can feel myself slipping away. The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the Pilgrim's path to the Ebon Bear and replacing the key. Good luck, Nightingale.
I don't recognize you, but I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. I've defended the Sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. We were betrayed by one of our own kind. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate and stolen the skeleton key. I... How do you know of me? The key! And Mercer Frey? I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. That's qu My only regret. Carlyle? I feared she'd befallen the same fate, ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. Nothing would bring me more pride than to return the key, but I'm afraid it's impossible. From the moment I arrived here, the several when Mercer stole, whatever damage has been caused can only... The Ebonir is a conduit through which nocturnal influences our world. Not through magic or blessings, but purely through luck. Yes, absolutely. Your skill is your own. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. But nocturnal... She influences our luck. Nearly imperceptible assistance we get when we ply our trade. Think about the guild. About the state it was in when you began. Think about all the little things you might have heard. A pick breaking when it shouldn't have. The clouds in the nighttime sky clearing at the wrong moment. Our access to those bits of luck are what separates us from common bandits. Precisely. There are a few who still call nocturnal Lady Luck, and for good reason. I wish I could help you, but I've been a prisoner in this very chamber for the last quarter century. The only possible help I've come across are the remains of some poor fellow who is trying to follow in your footsteps. Perhaps his journal can help? Good luck, Nightingale.
What do we have here? It's been a number of years since I've set foot on your world. Or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. So, once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the Seven. Now that the Ebonmere has been restored, you stand before me awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. What you fail to realize is your actions were expected and represent nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the prize. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. I bid you to drink deeply from the Ebonmere mortal, for this is where the Agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck, the die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Farewell, Nightingale. See to it that you stay this time, won't you? Glad you were able to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful, outwardly sounding angry, but silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale Agent. The Crescent Moon represents the Agent of Shadow, the Half Moon for the Agent of Subterfuge, and the Full Moon for the Agent of Strife. This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the Sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. Now, your life as a Nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the Sepulchre in order to defend it. The Guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. Why, perhaps, the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. There are pockets brimming with coin, and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves, and we're damn good at what we do. This agent of strife can send forth a tendril of pure darkness into the heart of another, causing great injury to them. At the same time, this tether will bolster the Agent's own life force, making him stronger. The Agent of Subterfuge utilizes Shadow to cloud the judgment of those around him. By weaving the darkness to their will, this Agent can manipulate others into fighting for the Nightingale for a limited time. The Agent of Stealth is the master of remaining unseen. They are able to manipulate the darkness and use it to their advantage. On moonlit nights or in darkened rooms, this agent literally becomes invisible. Choose your path, and your journey will be complete. Carlyle? I feared I would never see you again. I was afraid you'd become like the others. If it were not for the actions of this Nightingale, your fears would have come true. She honors us all. What will you do now, my love? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. 
My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, we'll embrace once again. Oh well, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye. Nightingale? What is it? I've decided to make my home at Nightingale Hall. Since it's your home as well, I hope to see you and Brynjolf there. Of course, I may visit some of Skyrim cities too, or quiet things from time to time. Can't afford to get rusty now, can we? Gallus's oath has been paid. His actions have satisfied the terms. Now his spirit becomes one with the Everglow, the realm of perpetual twilight and the cradle of shadow. No, not gone. He's become one with the shadows. This is the greatest honor a Nightingale can possibly achieve. In death, he's become a part of that which we use to live. Absolutely. When we say, walk with the shadows, we are asking those Nightingales who have passed on to protect us. It's believed that they are literally what guides our uncanny luck by placing their hands in ours. That's why the Ebonmere needed to be reopened. Without it, there's no way Nocturnal was able to allow them through. If this place is in danger ever again, the shadows will call. Should the need arise, a portal connects the Sepulchre and Nightingale Hall. Use it whenever you wish. Farewell. Eyes open, and walk with the shadows. <laughs>